In this video you'll learn how to create an awesome logo shine effect using Filmora 14, just like this. First let's head over to the stock media section. Here I will drag and drop a background for my logo onto the timeline. Next I will go to the media library and choose one of my logos to add. This logo represents my YouTube channel but feel free to use any logo you like. I will resize this logo to about 50% so it fits nicely. Now let's navigate to the effects tab. Click on Boris FX and then head to the lights section within Boris FX. From here I will drag and drop the BBC light sweep effect onto the logo in the timeline. To adjust the effect settings I will double click on the logo. This brings up the effects panel where I can configure the BBC light sweep settings. While there are ready-made presets available, we will create a custom shine effect for this project. So, let's scroll down through the settings. First, I will set the effect direction to about 45 degrees. The fall-off distance will be around 100. I'll set the cone width to about 200. and the center will be around 5%. And I will set the shape to 10. For the intensity I will choose a value of 30. You can pick the light color based on what suits your logo and your preferences. Now that we have configured these settings, let's animate the shine effect on the logo. Scroll back up and I will add the first keyframe for the light position at the start of the logo. For this keyframe, I will decrease the X value of the light to around minus 1683, which will make the light disappear above the logo. Next, I will move the playhead forward a bit to add the second keyframe. Here, I will increase the X value of the light to about 2176, making it slide to the bottom of the logo and disappear. This creates a shining effect like this. If I want to repeat this light animation, I can easily do that. I will select both keyframes right-click and then click Copy. Now that the keyframes are copied, I will move the playhead a little further along and right-click again. From the keyframe option, I will click Paste. If you want to reverse the animation, just swap the two keyframes. This will repeat the shine effect, and you can continue adjusting the keyframes based on how long you want your animations to last. Now we have the shine effect perfectly applied to our logo. Finally, I would like to share a great time-saving tip with you. You can easily replace any logo without redoing these settings. Just go to your media library, hold down the Alt key, and drag and drop your new media onto the existing logo in your timeline. Your logo will be replaced seamlessly. I hope this video helps you create a brilliant shine effect for your logos or any related elements. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.